Well, hello there. Welcome to an episode of Toy Topics. This is where I just speak my mind on action figure related topics since I really can't do that during my reviews. So let's try not to be soft and sensitive jazz collectors. This is just my opinion, how I feel about certain things. And you can share how you feel as well in the comments below. I read and I like every single one as long as you're not insulting or attacking anyone. And I reply as much as I can. I'm not here to change how anyone feels. I'm just speaking about how I feel. It's a wonderful time to collect these toys. A wonderful time to collect and enjoy. But if we look into my mind, what toy topics will we find? The title is not clickbait. People assume I hate or dislike Mythic Legions. I wonder why I barely show them off on my channel. Let me explain why. So before I go in, let me start off by saying this. I like Mythic Legions. There are some rare times I absolutely love Mythic Legions. I am a fan. I go to Legions Con. I go to multiple conventions. I've spent over a thousand dollars on Mythic Legions at minimum. He ain't lying. I recently got this Anubis and Bestet set in. During the review, I found myself thinking these figures are absolutely beautiful and the accessories are amazing. Lord of mercy, I'm about to bu I don't have a complaint with the price points, but it made me focus in more on the only area of Mythic Legions that I feel like the Four Horsemen or the company completely fails at. Here I come. Oh, here I come. And that would be in the department of... No lie, they are literally 15 years behind in that department. Hell yes! Majority of Mythic Legion slash Four Horsemen figures that get put out are not for me because the articulation is mid, subpar at best. Oh lord. Lately, yes, they have tried to step it up with the Valiant Knight figure, which has more range and movement than I'd say 90% if not all of their other previous figures. But that's just one figure. Yes, it's a step in the right direction, but on average, we have no double hinged elbows, no double hinged knees, no butterfly joints, no thigh swivel on average, no upper bicep swivel on average, neck articulation on average. Don't make me laugh. Most have none. Literally, I'm not being dramatic. It's just a static ball. So most of the figures can't look up or down, barely have range in that area at all. Once again, this Anubis and Bestet are proof that they are trying to improve in articulation. They have thigh swivels and they actually finally have a neck hinge, but still fall short in double hinged anything or swivels in the bicep area. But as far as sculpt and detail is concerned, beautiful. These figures are absolutely beautiful. But in my opinion, these are action figures. So if you have the mindset that you don't want to break apart the sculpt, and that's why some figures have minimal articulation. If you care more about sculpt than articulation, go collect statues. I don't care to hear more collectors or toy creators in the action figure space that believe sculpt should be prioritized over articulation. They're called action figures, not action statues. Can we just have a healthy the balance of both sculpt and detail and also articulation can they both be prioritized can they can they just meet in the middle not have amazing sculpt and detail but shitty articulation from 2011 i that's not fun for me this motherfucker don't miss that i'm not a fan of that i believe it should just be a healthy balance of both especially at premium price points where these figures are costing 37 40 to 60 dollars for one figure with extremely dated articulation hey that's fucked up. Plus, it makes me laugh anytime I hear someone that wants to push back against the double hinge saying, oh no, I like that there's not that many cuts in articulation. I like you, man. You lie a lot. Well, if one or two more cuts in the arm completely makes or breaks it for you, once again, go collect statues. Everyone, including me, was celebrating that Valiant Knight figure. It's about time. I'm a fan. I just want them to do better in articulation. I'm not a hater. I'm not a basher. I'm a paying customer. I don't get figures from them for free and I still buy their figures and would still show them off and have in the past. I'm just a paying customer who would love to pay for a figure made in 2024, not 2011. What the hell is going on? 
please please just step up the articulation and you guys will have the best mythical line around easily taking a look at this bestet she's absolutely beautiful so is anubis they finally have a thigh swivel but for the most part look look at the range of movement that we're getting on these figures it's all comparable to this masters of the universe classics battleground evil lin figure she was released in 2011 2011 man come on man there should be no comparison from something 2011 and this bestet was released this year can we just get a little bit more range of motion please juno the crusher one of my favorite mythic legions once again articulation from 2011 and no matter what line we put them up against they lose in articulation even when marvel legends did single jointed arms it was still better than this range of motion from 2011 you can tell they worked on lines like dc universe and masters of the universe mythic legion has given us the best overall articulated horses to date. The horses have more articulation than the humans in their line, and that's a fact. I love the giant trolls, sucky articulation, sure, but they're still big, beautiful centerpieces. And the horses and the animals and the bear they have coming out, it looks beautiful. Like they give animals more love and care in their articulation department and better range of motion in the articulation department than the humanoid characters that they do. <laughs> Their line has gotten this far and it's hard to get any figures to, to double hold a sword in multiple good poses because they don't even have butterfly joints. And majority of their figures have to hold swords, not guns. You can tell those guys used to work on DC Universe Classics and I love that line for that time. Let me say that again, I love the DC Universe Classics line for that time. Sure, some of the figures stand up to current figures that are being released, but the DC Universe Classics line started around 2008. Why is the articulation on the DC Universe Classics comparable in any way, shape or form to what Four Horsemen and the Mythic Legions are releasing 10 plus years later today? It should be no comparison and 10 plus years later that's why i said you could tell those guys used to work on that line men lie women lie but articulation and release dates don't this is just my opinion my preferences it's 2024 i want a modern action figure that has modern articulation especially at premium price points Guys, this Necron was released in 2011. It was a builder figure from the DC Universe Classics line over 10 years ago. This thing has great sculpting, great paint apps, and still wins in articulation from 2011. Maybe the Four Horsemen worked on this in specific, I don't know. But my point is, this thing is over 10 years old. I'm a fan, I really like Legions and the select few that I have, but it's 2024, come on, man. Come on now, dawg. I go to Legions Con in New Jersey and almost every person I talk to says they wish the articulation was better or you run into fans that make excuses for the articulation since the line can be kit bashed and parts can be swapped. That's no excuse, at least to me in my opinion. Tons of lines can be kit bashed and parts can be swapped and they still have the bare minimum of butterfly joints and double hinged arms and legs, classified Valiverse Action Force, now Savage Crucible, McFarlane, the Warhammer line, Mithro, Guardians of the Horde, Memory Toys, Hero Toys. If Mythic Legion stepped up the articulation, they would literally be running shit. We have third party overseas companies now making trolls and orcs and mythic creatures with better articulation and better accessories and similar scopes similar paint apps all around a comparable price point point. and yes you can part swap with those lines as well it's easy for kit bashing what? so what's the excuse for shitty articulation from the early 2000s again while i'm waiting for your fucking response are you just not gonna say anything we fucking got them. It's definitely not part swapping. That is definitely not a strong enough argument to come to the table with to justify single hinge articulation from 2008. Throw the part swapping excuse out the window. When, like I said, tons of other lines you can part swap with and interchange pieces amongst the same line. One of the biggest appeals to companies like Savage Crucibles was the articulation. It was modern and up to date, not from 2008 when the DC Universe Classics line started. If Mythic Legions had modern articulation, it would have taken the appeal away from lines like Savage Crucibles without a doubt. But people, including myself, saw army builders at a cheaper price with better articulation and beautiful damn paint apps. Shout out to Nikki Nicole Customs, who was responsible for some, I'm not saying all of the paint apps in that line, but 
but her work on her custom mythic legions figures and mythical creatures in general is ridiculous and you're saying on savage crucibles i get her paint apps and better articulation at a cheaper or comparable price yeah sign me up bitch bet 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 this is what we needed and clearly that's not just how i felt about that campaign clearly other people did because on their first kickstarter they did over half a million dollars 600k plus off of just modern articulated mythical creatures with removable swappable parts and accessories super simple once again my point is if mythic legions would have had updated articulation and better removable accessories a lot of other companies would have had no real stake in the game or advantage over them if mythic legions at bare minimum gave us marvel legends articulation with nikki nicole paint apps it would be game over in the realm of mythical creatures from majority of other companies hell yes especially because they're already so big with a cult like following they have an entire convention just based around them and instead of me seeing big content creators or you know anybody coming forward and being like hey everything's great here but their articulation absolutely sucks instead of me seeing that i see people still getting excited getting excited over what articulation from 2011 <laughs> <laughs> getting excited because you can pop and swap parts in a line oh my god bro. Oh, hell, man. What the fuck? why would i be excited when no matter what i pop and swap the articulation is still comparable to something 10 plus years ago that's stupid doesn't even make sense really let me say again i love mythic legions for very specific troop builders and animals and trolls but i know when i'm buying a mythic legions i'm mainly buying for pain apps and sculpt not articulation don't attack me in the comments saying i hate the line no i've spent over a thousand easily on legions probably much more at this point but experienced collectors i talk to all agree when you buy legions you are not buying for modern or even decent articulation men lie women lie but the release dates and articulations don't seriously look at all these other lines sure they don't beat mythic legions on sculpt or paint apps at times but they destroy them in articulation and these are some cheap lines some of them just meet the bar of modern articulation some lines are from 2011 or 15 and they still have better articulation even NECA on average has better articulation than mythic legions even NECA so who does mythic legions beat in the articulation department super seven yeah. let's be nice we don't have to go there you're not wrong but you didn't have to say it like is that something to be proud of to be able to beat super seven in articulation oh my god wow everybody knows those guys have like none they're like five poa figures <laughs> And no matter what Legion's figures I pull from my shelf, it loses in articulation. It's not looking good, Bev. Speaking about animals, it's the year of the dragon. And they have had a dragon in the sky on a ton of their boxes for years. Let's hope they finally give us a dragon this year. I'm pretty sure they do. I hope they do. You know, when they did this whole burning to ashes thing, I heard someone say, yeah, maybe they're finally burning these same damn molds that they've been using for five or 10 years. That would have been pretty nice. That would have been cool. But another cool option, aside from them giving us all new updated articulation and better molds would be a dragon so i'm pretty sure maybe we'll get a dragon on legions con or right before legions con they'll reveal it enticing people to go to the convention to see this dragon in person i bet money on it that would be the smart thing to do but i'm that's just me having my fingers crossed hoping we get a dragon from them because clearly they give better range of motion and movement to their animals than they do their humanoid figures he ain't lying but before mythic legions fanboys get upset i love legions but let's not pretend like their articulation game is you know game changing or cutting edge design or even modern or up to date it is the biggest downside to these figures my name is articulated ninja of course articulation matters to me i want action figures not action statues oh this is spitting right now don't attack me because you cannot separate your own self-worth or self-identity from a brand or a product that you love i'm not attacking you i'm not even attacking mythic legions i'm calling out an obvious truth which is their articulation is mid at best definitely not modern and cannot compete with most modern lines he ain't lying so no i'm not attacking any fans or the company, I'm just calling it for what it is, 
please make the articulation better. I think the community that they built is a beautiful thing. Legions Con is a beautiful thing. And I have spent a ton of money on Mythic Legions and I'm sure in the future I still will. But this is just how I feel about the line. And like many other lines, it's great, but it definitely needs some improvements. And it's hard for the company to even want to prioritize improving articulation when everyone and their mother just wants to pretend the articulation is fine. It's not. It's from 2011. Stop it. The Valiant Knight figure is the closest thing we get to modern articulation with a good range of motion. And that thing still doesn't have double hinges or butterfly joints. And it just has smaller parts like a smaller waist area and stuff to increase the range of motion and some of that doesn't look correct considering it's supposed to be a man in an armored suit some of those parts look way too small to me we cannot get them to do better if all we do is praise them and i see almost no content creators say the truth which is mythic legions on average fails in the articulation department it's not just my opinion like i said i'm showing you guys figures from 2011 and those figures are beating mythic legions in articulation this is just how i feel about my collection and the brands that I have in it. I figured I'd answer that Mythic Legion's question that I get a lot instead of just doing another traditional review. And that is why I don't show off a lot of Mythic Legion's figures on my channel because I mainly collect modern action figures with modern articulation, not articulated statues. I don't feel comfortable praising something on my channel that has comparable articulation to something from 2011. Four Horsemen, please do better. Step up the articulation. You guys are 10, maybe even 15 years behind in terms of articulation compared to other modern lines comment down below let me know if you agree disagree once again i gotta keep saying it i love legions it's a beautiful line but with very 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 outdated articulation there's more to gain than to lose with updated articulation otherwise if you're so worried about an extra line or two in the sculpt go collect statues and that part swapping excuse it's not even valid in 2024 but shout out to all of my channel members. I appreciate you guys. Let me know in the comments down below whether you agree, disagree. This is just how I feel. When it comes to paint and sculpt work, legions are one of the best. But unfortunately, they're not the best because they still slack majorly in that one very important area. It's a wonderful time to collect these toys. A wonderful time to collect and enjoy. But if we look into my mind, what toy topics will we find?